Welcome to F1 Peak. In today's video, we will be taking a look at one of the most badass and coolest drivers in Formula One history. Kejo Erik Rosberg was born in 1948 in Sweden. A couple of years later, the family moved back to Finland where his parents originated from, and years later, Kejo adopted the easier-to-remember moniker of Kiki. Kiki was the first Finnish driver who regularly secured a drive in Formula One despite entering the series late in life at the age of 29 years. Despite his age, he really showed that he still has real driving skills and had a real hunger to win races. Kekka's debut with the Theodore team There was no silver spoon and Rosberg had to wheel, deal and hustle to finance his early career. His toughness, resilience and stamina were traits just as much as his famed car control. Kike's debut in Formula One was with the Theodore team. The team was financed by Teddy Yip, a businessman who was born in Indonesia. The car was underfinanced, underpowered, and difficult to drive due to its handling. However, Kike managed to drive the car to a surprising win at the BRDC International Trophy at Silverstone in 1978. The win was surprising not only because it was Kike's second Formula One race, but also because the weather conditions were extremely challenging, with torrential rain causing a number of accidents. Kike's drives followed in similarly uncompetitive cars at ATS, Wolf and Fittipaldi, and despite his determination, they were not cars Kike enjoyed to race in. It was a tricky situation for a talented driver like Kike because if the car he was driving was not up to the standard of the other cars on the grid, then it was very difficult for him to be recognized for his ability. The Original Flying Finn When Williams driver and 1980 Formula One driver's champion Alan Jones decided to retire from the sport, the announcement to retire came as quite a surprise to Frank Williams, who then had to sign a replacement for Allen pretty quickly. Frank signed Kike, and the stars seemed to align with Kike scoring enough points, despite winning only one race during the season, to become the 1982 Drivers' World Champion. Kike quickly earned the moniker, The Flying Finn. From that point, Kike's driving got better and better, even more so when Williams moved on to Honda-powered turbo engines. 1982 World Champion Champion Rosberg won only one race during this season. That was the Swiss Grand Prix, but consistency gave him the Drivers' Championship five points clear of John Watson. Rosberg was the second driver to win the champion, having won only one race in the season after Mike Hawthorne in 1958. Eleven drivers from seven teams won a race during the season, no driver winning more than twice. There was a run of nine different winners in nine consecutive races from the Monaco Grand Prix to the Swiss Grand Prix. So, why was Kike so badass? He had, and still has, a glorious mustache. A bushy bouquet of hair on the upper lip can really be the icing on the cake of coolness. For Kike, it became iconic, really adding to his give zero fucks attitude. His epic car control At the 1983 Monaco Grand Prix, the track was wet at the start but drying. And while most of the front runners decided to play it safe with wet tires, Kike went for slicks in the hope it would dry out. Kike made a monster of a start to go from sixth to second by turn one, and by the end of the first lap had passed Prost Renault to take the lead. It only got better as the track dried, and after seven laps, he already had a lead of almost half a minute. From then on, he mastered the track and the conditions, 
only losing time when lapping back markers. You can almost pick any lap out at random and you'll see him drifting his Williams around Mazenay and Casino Square spectacularly, but totally in control. This virtuoso performance totally ended suggestions that he hadn't deserved his 1982 championship. Street circuits would prove to be something of a specialty of his, with four of his five career wins coming on them. The Ultimate Team Player At the 1985 European Grand Prix at Brands Hatch, after being shoved off the road by Ayrton Senna, Rosberg lost a lap to the leaders after pitting for new tires. He came back out in front of Senna and didn't hesitate to badly hold up the Brazilian in the ultimate form of passive-aggressive revenge. The whole thing allowed his teammate Nigel Mansell to take the lead and head off to his first win. After Formula One, Rosberg later spent a long time managing his countryman JJ Leto and future world champion Mika Hakkinen. Until 2008, he also managed his son Nico, who entered Formula One in 2006, driving for Williams F1. In 2013, he and Nico became the first father and son to both win at Monaco, 30 years apart from each other. In 2016, he and Nico became the second father-son duo to both win Formula One World Championships. Since retiring from driving in 1994, Keke Rosberg has remained active in motorsport, managing rising stars and creating his own racing team. Team Rosberg has been operating for over 25 years and has won races and titles in numerous series, most recently winning the 2020 DTM Drivers' Championship. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to see more Formula One related content in the future. Make sure to comment your favorite moment from Rosberg's career.